Hello, my name is Joseph, and as I'm sure most of you know by now, I'm a magician. And that was really cheap on eBay. Don't judge me, I thought it was cool, okay? But <laughs> don't worry, I promise you, uh, the rest of the magic will be much better. Um, I did just realize one thing I forgot, so I guess I'll... Um, so, I just there's a dice in the bag. I'm really sorry, I forgot something. What? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's... Just the red one. So, okay. Um, so here I have a dice. Now I'm going to need some help from this. So who'd like to help me? Perfect. Um, hi, in the second row, can you, in a nice loud voice, can you tell everyone your name? Cosmo. Cosmo, perfect. Can you join me on stage, please? <laughs> That's perfect. Now, Cosmo, I have a dice over here. I'd like you to take, to take this dice, roll it a few times, make sure that it doesn't always land on the same number. Okay, so yeah, we've got a three over there. And if you just try it again, that's a four. So are you happy it's a normal dice? Yeah. Perfect. So in a moment, I'm going to turn my back. When I do, I would like you to roll the dice, take a look at the number, and then just let me know, and then just let me know when you've done that. Okay? So roll the dice for me, take a look at the number. Have you got it? Yeah. You got it? That's perfect. And can you just put the, uh, the dice into your pocket for me? Perfect. Now, uh, you can go back to your seat for now. I'll need you again later. Thank you for your help. So I'm going to need some more help from this. So is there anyone else that would like to help me? Hi, in the first row, uh, in a nice loud voice, can you tell everyone your name? George. George, can you join me on stage, please? Can we get a round of applause for George as he joins you? That's perfect, yeah. So here I have a book. Now, this is The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. It's an interesting book. It has some quite good philosophical ideas. I also have my bookmark, which is, of course, a playing card, okay? So I'm going to run my bookmark down the side of the book like this. Whenever you want to, can you just say the word stop? Stop. Right here, would you like to change your mind? No. You're happy with the mind you've got? Yeah. Perfect. We'll insert the bookmark in like this. Now, I'm going to open up the bookmark to this page. I would like you to please just remember the page number and the first word on the page. Have you got them? Yes. Remember them? Perfect. I'm going to leave the book over here, make sure that I don't touch them for the rest of the trick, okay? Now, I also have a deck of cards. Can you please confirm for everyone that all of the cards are different? Yes. And yes, that was a Wiffle fan. It took me a very long time to learn. It was hopefully not wasted. We'll see. Okay, can you take it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Could you take out a card for me? Anyone you want, take it out, look at it. Um, now, I've got a pen over here. What I'd like you to do, can you please just write down the word that you're thinking of and also your name? So the word from the book and your name. I'll turn my back again so that I can't see. And then if you just let me know when you've done that. So yeah, just the word and the name on the face of the card. That's perfect. Is that done? Not yet, nearly? OK. And then. Uh, that's perfect. And then can you please hold the card close to your chest so that nobody can see it? Can I turn back? Yeah. Perfect. Now what I'd like you to do is just um, think of the word that you're thinking of. Just imagine it on a giant white canvas in front of you, okay? Think of each letter individually. In particular, I'd like you to focus on the first letter for me. Look at me. Try not to react. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Ooh. I noticed when I got to I, you, tr you were trying especially hard not to react, and that kind of ended up in you reacting differently to the others. Was the first letter an I? Yes. It was? Perfect. Now, what I'd like you to do, think of some of the other letters in the word. Think I'm detecting there's a B somewhere. I think it ends in an E. There's an M. Is the word you're thinking of impossible? Yes. Can you show everyone on the card the word impossible? impossible. That's perfect. <laughs> now, I'm going to take the card back from you. So that's the queen of hearts. Oh, that's my favorite. Perfect. That's going to uh, go into the middle of the deck. We'll lose it in, and I'll leave the cards just over here. I won't touch them for the rest of the trick, OK? Um, now, you were also thinking of a page. Oh, and I've also got six envelopes over here, which I'm just going to lay onto the steps. So we've got envelope one. We've got two. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, we've got one. We've got two. We've got three. We've got four. We've got five. And we've got six. I'm also not going to touch those until the end of the trick, OK? Now, you were also thinking of a page number, weren't you? Uh, can you please take the book? For the first time, what was the page number that you were thinking of? 170. 170? Oh, that is so weird, because you're not going to believe this. Uh, I actually got this book secondhand, and when I got it, I remember I was really sad with the state that page 170 was in. You know, can you just open it up to that page for me? I don't remember what it was about it. There was just something really bad about it. If you just open it up to that page, show everyone what you've got. Perfect. If you just open it up, show everyone what you've got on page 170. Yeah, if you can just show everyone the page. Not there. It's ripped out. Cosmo, you rolled the dice at the beginning, didn't you? Do you remember the number you thought of? 
for the first time, can you say the number out loud? Six. six. So the sixth envelope. What I'd like you to do is pick up the sixth envelope and join me on stage, please, just over here. That's perfect. Let's go round of applause. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Don't open it just yet, okay? Um, now, um, let's say I'm going to ask you five in the front row over here to each please pick up an envelope and also join me on stage, please. Um, let's get a round of applause for them. Perfect. I can just put it down for now. Um, okay, so you, you rolled the dice. You thought of the number. You didn't tell anyone that number. You're now holding the envelope. Before you open up yours to prove that all of these envelopes are em empty, in a moment, I'm, when I count to three, I'm going to ask you all to rip open your envelopes in the most dramatic way you possibly can, okay? One, two, three. Not too bad, that's okay. Um, and you're now holding on to an envelope. I'd like you to please just take out the contents of the envelope. That's right, it's another envelope. Now, um, in a nice loud voice, um, can you please just read out what it says on that envelope? It always seems impossible until it's done. Of course, a quote by Nelson Mandela. And if you open up that envelope, you should find one thing and one thing only. What have you got? Page 170. But all of this only matters if the tear marks match perfectly. Can you open the book up back to page 170 for me? And if you just put the book and the page together, you should hopefully find a perfect match. Hold that up to the camera so that everybody can see. Yeah. That, that awesome. Yeah. Thank you. OK, so um, I'm going to ask everyone apart from George, you can all go back to your seats. Thank you for your help. Uh, perfect. Um, George, I'm not done with you just yet. Can you put the book down over here for me? Uh, yeah, that's fine. OK, and can you pick up the deck of cards? Because you also picked a card. What, I'm going to give you three chances to find your card in the deck, OK? What I'd like you to do, make a cut for me. Don't complete it. OK, what I'd like you to do is take a look at the card you cut to. Take a look, show that to the camera. Is that the card you chose? That's okay, we've got three chances, like I said, two more chances, okay. So you can, uh, if you can make another cut in the deck for me, just anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you can put that back, just another cut. We've still got two more chances. And take a look at the card you've cut to. Not the, my card. That's closer, that's closer though. You know, we've got one more chance, okay. I'm gonna, you've got one more chance to cut to your card. Give the deck a cut. And take a look at the card that you've cut to. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Three of diamonds. You know what, that's okay. It looks like that part didn't work. Can you just go through the cards and just take it out for me? Just take out uh, the card that you chose, the card that you chose, and you signed my favorite one. It was the Queen of Hearts, right? Yeah. Perfect. So if you just go through, should be there somewhere. There's the Jack. That's not the same. And the Queen of Diamonds, no, it's not there. It's not there. Yep. Have you lost my card? My favorite card in the entire deck, and you've just gone and lost it. That's it. Hand in the chopper. Right now, put your hand in. <laughs> You're trying to embarrass me in, s in front of so many... <laughs> Hands slightly back. Perfect. Uh, now, you're trying to embarrass me in front of so many incredible magicians like Jake Allen over here. Like, uh, how about you try performing some magic without a hand? One, two, three... Oh, this is... Ah. Uh, um, this is kind of awkward. It, it looks like you did find the card. That is your initials, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Now, this is really awkward because I don't actually have like a re replacement hand for you to apologize. You know what? I've got the next best thing. Um, here is your new hands. You can take that and you can keep your card. Thank you for your help. You. Ladies and gentlemen. And now keep it, keep it. Um, my name is Joseph. Thank you and good night. And we're going to do the same for stage. So if we come up on stage, Joseph Westbury. Compete, and I personally delighted in stage magic is still alive. Give a round of applause to our stage magic.